Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. And if you've never been here before, I am an artist and a DIYer. I love to do thrift flips and do my shabby chic and DIYs from what I find. We are doing a get together for From Showers to Flowers, Creative Ideas for Spring. And we are celebrating Favvy's new baby. DIY number one. So I painted this white and I don't know what this whole thing, I lost some footage all over the place, but I painted it. I, actually, I think I painted it black first and then I painted it white. And then I was putting on some clear wax and I'm taking a a sanding sponge and doing a little distressing. So we go back to the black a little bit and you can see it. I picked up a whole bunch of frames at this uh, vintage days that I went to and I started doing them and I guess I just kind of spaced out and lost footage to which ones I did. So I've got this uh, gold wax like stuff and you could put it on with a brush or whatever else but with this being really thin little beading work in there I wanted to use my fingers so I could get in there real well and this is the picture that I put in it it came from JRV and her husband Zeb designed it DIY number two And so here we are. You can see how I painted it black. And now I'm doing an apothecary DIY paint over the top of it. It's a clay-based paint, and it is a dream. I just love it. You can uh, distress it back with a wet cloth or with sanding paper. And I am loving this green. I'm not a big green person, but I sure do like the apothecary. And if you saw my last video, you, you know what I did with most of the frames. How I tried to chippy them up a little bit and uh, giving them a good sanding to bring out some of the edges. Now, this is what I did is I didn't have a lot of material because I still don't know where everything is. So I took an IOD stents or transfer and uh, I put this gal on this cardboard envelope. And what I do on doing is tracing around with the transfer paper. Because I had an idea after I put her down, which I should have done it reverse, but this still worked out really well. So I traced around her and I'm just cutting it out. I've been using a lot of found materials lately, cardboard and envelopes and foam that was have been in my packing materials. And I've been kind of like a crazy person lately, spending maybe a bit too much money. But I'm having a great time finding these great thrift deals. I've been doing online estate auctions. Oh my gosh. Sometimes when it gets too heavy, I back off and I don't bid a lot of money. But yesterday I bid on some things. And like I picked up three big trays that you'll be seeing me do in the future for $2.50. Two tiered little end table for $5. Okay, so I'm just putting it over the top of her, and I'm pulling out some more transfer paper, which is Prima. And what I did was I just kind of folded the white paper back so I could it slipped her in between. Pulled it over to be able to get it where I wanted it to. And since it's sticky, it stuck down nicely. And I just had to go over it with my little um, stick. 
And with the transfers that I didn't, you didn't see earlier, this is what I do is I uh, use Primo or IOD and I uh, use the sticks and push them down. And if you've never tried transfers, try them. They are so much fun. I just love them. I could put a transfer on everything. And I use part of this envelope for another one, another uh, frame that I did last week. Figured there were so many frames, I better break it up into a couple of different parts. And this worked out very nicely. With the May bring, the April showers bring May flowers, but we're gonna say brings May baby flowers. You're so excited for Fabby's new baby. She won't tell us yet what she's having, so I guess it's going to be a surprise. She could have it on my daughter's birthday. It's the 22nd. Okay, you can see I got that all done. And I'm just kind of rough fitting the frame. And I forgot, oh, I better lift this off. And look at how great that looks. It came out so good. I'm so proud of myself. Because <laughs> I made enough other mistakes of losing footage and whatever. Cutting this out on the sides a little bit. And I'm just getting this in place. I marked a little bit where it was in the middle. And I'm just cutting out a little bit more. So it doesn't be sticking out the bottom or top. And I'm putting some wood glue down. Wood glue actually works on a lot of things, just so long as it doesn't show, because then you'll see the yellow. But it really does, and this is Gorilla Wood Glue. I like to put it on with the paintbrush. And now I'm putting it into place, and I marked a little bit on the outs back of it of where the middles were, so I could line up the middles and get them just right. So once I got it lined up just right, I'm taking just some scotch tape and putting over the top so it holds it in place while it dries. Now here's some more of the IOD transfers. And I thought, oh, this would be lovely with the flowers and the leaves on the outside. And once again, I get my stick and I start rubbing. Once I start getting it going, it starts lifting up on its own, or I start lifting it up and it starts laying down on its own. They call it ride the wave, but it's kind of fun to do it. And you can see where I hung it over the edge and it just lifted up by itself. Sometimes you have to do a little trimming. And if you are new with me, and if you're wondering why I don't have music, I haven't had music for a while because I've gotten in trouble with YouTube before saying I committed copyright violation when I didn't, and they found out, figured out I didn't. So I just thought, I'm not going to mess with them anymore, and I just don't put any music. And I think it's fine without. 
So I'm taking my baby scissors and doing just a few little trims. Sometimes I find music distracting. Okay, and I'm just taking some of the rest of it on the same area that I didn't cover. And I'm going to put that down too. And when you're doing the transfer, just be patient. Some surfaces it doesn't go down as easy, but I find out if it doesn't go down as easy, it's best to seal it with maybe some Mod Podge. And then put your transfer down. If it's got a smoother surface, it goes down really well. On the DIY paint, it goes down really well. I get the DIY paint from Jamie Ray Vintage. I have bought some when they haven't had any stock. I have bought some from the painted photographer before. She's got a cool channel. And uh, designs by Brie. I bought some stuff from her before. They have new paint brushes out for just the DIY paint. Oh my gosh, it's the softest paint brush you'll ever feel. But I think it's best just to use it on DIY paint because you really have to rinse it off right away but it makes it just go down as, as smooth as can be. So now I'm using some DIY uh, clear wax. Is this not screaming summer or spring? Now I'm using some uh, DIY, DIY white wax. And I'm going in all the grooves along the edge. And I decided, hmm, maybe I'll just cover the whole thing. And this is the creamiest, nicest wax I've ever used. I love it. It's just like butter. You just put it on and then wipe it back off. You can wipe it as hard as you want or as soft as you want if you want more of a white or a dark look. But if you're going to put down either white or dark, I'd put down clear first because the dark will sink right into that clay. DIY number three. All right, here comes some more of I don't know where the footage went. They took some little wooden squares that I got from Amazon, and I painted them a white, and then I distressed them with uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink on the edges. And then I took some of my IOD transfers and put them on the squares. And now I'm deciding I'm going to put an edge on them. And I have some of these little lace things that I got from Timu. I'm liking, I'm liking the crafts from Timu. So I'm just looking at them, deciding which one I wanted. So I'm putting some Mod Podge down. And I'm just going to Lay my lace out there. And I'm just going to let it dry and then clip it off. And these were like little seed packets, some of these. I thought they were so cute. Great 
project for spring and summer. And I have been getting a few projects done ahead of time. So these, these have actually been done since uh, about the end of February. I decided, well, they're so thin. Do something to thicken them up. And I thought, well, if I put two together, maybe. And I thought, well, I've got some felt. So I slathered the back. That's one of my crafting terms, slather and put them on some of the gray felt I had. I did that to each one of them. And I really tried to make it thick so it would uh, soak into the fabric. And I just took some cans and jars and things and put them on top so they'd lay real flat and adhere really well. And they did. I left them for a few days to really dry well. And they did. They came out very nice. And I haven't done it yet, but I think I will cover them with some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. DIY number four. Okay, Favvy, this one's for you, girl. I just got this cute little tray in my Timu order. And a friend gave me this cute little planter. And I'm pulling out some of my Timu flowers. Uh, I've got some of the dark wax here, and I just picked up some stuff today from one of the online auctions, and there were all these little blocks of wood in there, and I thought, what are these for? And then I realized, oh, they're stamps. They're, they're the wood part for stamps, but it doesn't look like they'd ever had a stamp on them. So I don't know whether somebody created their own or they just picked them up somewhere or what. And I'm going over this with a little bit of dark because I wanted it to come out darker. So I want the uh, flowers to and the flower pot to pop next to it. Cute little trays. Perfect for crafting. No, Timu's not offered me anything to talk about them, but I will say I talk about things that I like, and I've not been unhappy with anything I've gotten. I did get something broken, and they had me take a picture and send it, and they told me, okay, just keep it. We'll deduct the money from, give you back your money on it, and they did. It was really great. No problems. Where a one time in Wish, I didn't like something I got, and I wanted to return it, and I, they, they just gave me a big run around. It was nothing but a bunch of baloney. So I've got some foam that I'm just shoving down in there to hold the flowers well. These used to come when I was a kid. These little flower pots used to come uh, probably for a baby arrival. And they'd have maybe carnations in them or roses in them, whatever you wanted. And I love these old flower pots. Look how great these flowers are from Timu. It's just the coolest little bunch. I took and I uh, went around with the clipper thing to cut the rubber plastic. 
and then I wiggled it back and forth and it snapped off. And now I can just uh, shove it down into the foam. It's nice because then I don't have to throw this foam away. End up in a landfill. We can just reuse it. And I got this in the estate stuff I picked up today. The lady was definitely a crafter. And I picked up, oh my gosh, so much cool stuff. It's just unbelievable. I bid on a shelf, stuff they had in the garage. And nobody wanted it, and I ended up getting it for $2.50. And there was so many things in there. Had some really cool old mason jars that were full of things like seashells, and some with play coins, and some with uh, pine cones, and ah, it was just cool. I'll admit, I'm a professed craft hoarder. So I'm taking a putty on here. This with a Sharpie. First I did it with a thin Sharpie, now I'm going over it. Favvy's baby. Because we're so excited about Favvy's baby. We're excited about Favvy. We just love our Favvy. I thought, oh, I need to draw a little something on here. Little dog, little bear, I don't know. Something. Cute. I'm not going to glue it down. I'm just going to put it on the tray next to the planter. You can see better with this overhead thing I have now, but uh, it's a little difficult when I'm trying to show you. So if you haven't subscribed to me, please hit that bell, that red bell button and uh, I'm trying to get to 3,000 hopefully by my birthday which is in June so here you can see this is the paper I put in it's a rice paper and Jeb, Jeb designed it all so it was really cool so these are kind of looking sideways but wait just a second and it'll Here we go. Here we go, Favvy. Here's everything all together. There's a uh, amaryllis. All the flower packets and I appreciate each and every one of you coming and thanks for watching and I hope you come back again and Favvy just know we love you girl bye